What if? No, but then. Oh. Hmm? Me? Ah, forgive me. I was lost in the song written by my lake teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity 100 years ago. Mm. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not yet returned. But my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. Ah, forgive me. It seems I prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing the secret. Best of luck, and may the light illuminate your path. Sign of the Shadow. Can I see it? Sign of the Shadow. As light shines from, uh, do 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 do, yes, uh, the tower shout, arrow flies, pierce heaven's light and reveal the prize. Makes me think that as the sun rises, what is down there? As the sun rises, we're supposed to shoot that thing, but also the top of the, the shrine does look like an arrow already. So I don't know, but I honestly don't want to cover that this episode because we have bigger fish to fry, like falling down the shrine or this tower. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome to the longest fall in the game. Last time. Oh wow, that is the longest fall in the game. That's, whoa. That, okay. Well, let's go almost all the way down. Just to see what's there. Uh, let's go to this path, because it looks like the lowest thing. I get a stealth attack on this guy, too. Or that. Die. Yeah. You learned you, you filthy animal. What is this place? This is weird, but anyway, last time, we, uh, we started exploring a new area. After, after tackling, as you guys put it, a very cumbersome shrine quest, it really wasn't that bad. Although, I guess you guys also played up the, the Smotherwing Butterfly conundrum. So, there, there is that. We came into a new area. You can die. Oh, that was a that was a Darth Maul moment right there. That was kind of sad. We came into this new area. It's partially snowy, partially not, which is new, I guess. Kind of. I guess that is new. And we're setting out to explore it. And honestly, I don't think there's anything of substance here. There's this tower, and we've been to the tower. What is down there? Just a rock. But I really don't think there's anything of. So oh, hello. Uh, you are kind of a problem. Okay, I, I killed him. Oh, wait, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, let's... Stasis. Shoot. Okay, he's dead. Alright, uh, there are these guys. Again, I've always said that it's, it's good to kill the white ones. Which, call that racist, but... There. You, sir, can die. Equip the Master Sword just, just to get this guy out because they're kind of HP tanks. They can take a lot of hits. And he's dead. We get a diamond? No, but we got an opal. That's, that's worth it as well. An opal and this. Fire arrows. Yeah, this area is kind of weird. Um, we're supposed to climb it, and honestly, I don't think we need to climb it. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to warp back up to the top. Actually, no. I'm going to warp back up here. Because that's kind of our our, our base point. Uh, we can reach anywhere in this region, almost, from this summit. So, let's do that. Face the Lionel as I said I would. And then try to uncover the secret of the 8th heroine. Hui! Lionel time! 
it's a silver Lionel which we have faced before, but it is in an environment we haven't faced before, so I'm, I'm interested to see if they change that up at all. Hello. Dodge the side, take out the Master Sword. I'm just going to use the Master Sword as well, just to get this done as quickly as possible. Especially because the the Lancer... Oh, boy. The Lancer Lionels take much longer to kill because they are they have some of these kind of hit-and-run tendencies. They don't actually really attack you head-on. So I'm just going to switch to fire arrows, shoot them in the back of the head, and again, and one more time for effect. Come on, buddy. The, the flurry rush timing is a little bit more strict on the, the running attack, so I need to do it later. Oh, here's the fire attack. This is one of the most strict shield bash timings of the game. But I got it. Keep cutting away at him. Come on. He's ha almost... He's all... Actually, he's about... Uh, he has about a quarter of his HP left. Just chop away. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's doing this attack. I, I don't know the, the timing for that. Honestly, I don't think it's that important to shield bash. Oh, hello. Switch over. Fire through it and got it while his mouth is open. Stasis him to close and bridge the gap. Jump on. Choppy chop. This won't kill him, but it'll get really close. Uh, switch over to shock arrows, actually, because I have 200 of them. Oh, this should kill him. Got him. Without taking damage, I believe. Yeah, I'm just that good. Also, we should be able to... Oh, I got a... I got a star fragment from that? Really? A star fragment. I'm gonna drop this bow. A star fragment. That's insane. Okay, well... Now I know whenever there's a blood moon, I'm coming... I'm coming for this guy. That's an... That's ludicrous. Okay. There's an updraft. That's... Curious. We'll use that to get up later. Never seen that before. Oh, and there's a, a Korok. Well, as always, wait, is there, can I actually see the cube around? Actually, this is kind of strange. The cube is down there? I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get it up, and they're fighting over it. Yeah, you take that. Die. I should probably switch weapons. And knock this guy down. And once again, I'm going to cut this out because Koroks take a lot out of an episode. And now we get the honor of sledding down here. Oh, I missed. That was kind of bad. Uh, I kind of backfired. And there's our shrine. Oh, hello. What is this? This seems to be beginning to open up a theme for the for this region. All these updrafts. Are we sitting on a volcano? really weird makes me wonder if we're going to be seeing lava and snow that'd be cool we've i don't even i can't even think of a video game where i've seen lava and snow i'd be i'd be happy with that uh do i i i, I do want to kill this guy hold on okay now you can't die man these things take a lot of hits but like i said they're always worth it they're always worth it. I'm gonna start eating those words. I think I already am. Because they drop gems. They always drop gems. And it could be diamonds. But it, in this case, it was amber. But hey, they give us a chest. That means it probably has like 18 diamonds in the one chest. Survey says... Sapphire. Uh, well, that's not very happy. Okay, where's the shrine? It's up there. Is it really all the way out there? I thought it was on the, like, the ground floor level here. <laughs> the ground floor of a mountain, which is technically the summit, but f just don't you question me, boy. Or is it... Actually, I think it's just right over this little... This little... J jetty? Is that a term? Yeah, it's right across... Yeah, it's right here. Okay, well, shrine time. The Kema... Kosasa Shrine. It's very sassy. A major test of strength. The Kosasa Shrine. Not to be mistaken with Mufasa. 
When was the last time we saw a major test of strength that we weren't just doing again to get a picture of something? I'm excited for this. I love, I love beating these things. Not as much as I like fighting Lynels, because I feel like the true tests of strength are the Lynel fights, but I, I do enjoy me a major test of strength, especially one that I have to show on screen, because it's it's something I'm actively doing. Okay, bring, get, bring me your worst. Yeah, is that your worst? That's what I thought, because it's bad. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. What do you got? That... The, 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 how did that hit me? Okay, come on. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. I can shield bash. Yeah. That's what you thought, son. That that was kind of bad. I I didn't actually do this three swings. I was just mashing Y. Wow, that, that timing. Okay, get in here. Get some damage in. He's down to half health. Now he's where the skill portion of the fight kind of leaves. Because now it's just plinking away. Hoya! Uh, do I have something to? F I have something to electrocute him. That works. There, perfect. Oh boy! Wait, what is he doing? What is he doing? What was that? That was weird. That was creepy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on! You poke me? You poke me? I can poke you back. And my my poke hurts a lot more. Look at, you, look at you, you're forced up against the wall. Yeah, you won't even get to your last phase. Actually, you won't. Because I should be able to kill him. Guardian Shield plus plus, and a bunch of plus plus weapons. Hopefully an ancient core along with that. Because I need those. Yep, an ancient core. A spear plus plus. Uh, this thing is damaged, right? Yeah, it's damaged so I could throw it away yeah what is the actually what is the the power of this it is a a power 20 what 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 kind of garbage is that it's a power 20 weapon oh also it is worth noting I can use uh I can use cryonis here strategically to block attacks but it's not I mean I could have used it to block his rush attack uh it's probably his laser attack as well but, I mean, when you're this far into the game, and you're getting this good at the game, that's not not something that needs to be done. For the most part, you can just shield bash your way to victory. Now, having completed a major test of strength, that doesn't necessarily, as I've learned, mean that there's a minor and a modest test of strength around. Uh, I thought this for the longest time, but, I mean, there's so many exceptions I can find on the map. Like... Down here, uh, modest test, major test, there's no minor around here at all. Like, I don't even think there's one in the entire region. And so, they're not always in pairs, sometimes they are. Sometimes there's like a, a two, a two pair thing, like modest and major like I just showed you, but many times that's an exception, not the rule. So, let's climb back up this mountain. Sadly, there's no updraft, it seems, on this one. Uh, and actually, I I cooked my my stuff for a rainy day, but this isn't an RPG. Uh, I should not treat it as such where I'm afraid to use my items. I can always make more. So let's jump up for valor. That was close. Get our stamina back. And actually, melt this, I guess. Uh, get out a bow. Now, if you're wondering why I don't have any arrows, uh, there is a... I'm guessing this is a Korok. Yeah, it's Korok. There is a Korok seed last episode, uh, in the Elden region, that required me to shoot it almost like a 70 degree angle to get the... to, uh, get the Korok seed, and so I wasted, like, 40 arrows trying to do that, so... I have yet to do what I normally do when I'm out of arrows, and that is go to the, the Zora region and just walk down the path and kill Lizalfos left and right. That usually gives me my my arrows, like I have 70 to 90 by the time I'm done, but I've yet to do that, so I didn't want to buy arrows, so I'm, I, I guess I can just clear out... What is that over there? Oh, that's one of the Divine Beasts. 
So I, I need to go about doing that. What are these? Oh, they're these. Actually, let's find out what these are for first. A great... Whoa, a rhinoceros? A great horned rhinoceros in my Zelda game. Uh, that's... Okay. Well, we're dealing with rhinoceroses now. With raw prime meat, and I thought we got gourmet meat last episode. That's... Yeah, icy gourmet meat, which is kind of useless now, but I, I can chump eat it, I guess. Just snack on it. Okay, where are we going here? Do I need to climb? I think I need to climb the ridge. Yeah, these episodes are always a bit weird. Bears! Bear! Bear! Hello, bear. Oh, he's a bear. Yeah! Oh, he goes... Doesn't go fast. Can he attack the other bear? Can I get a bear fight going on? Fight this bear. Fight him. Kill him. Or not. Maybe I'm just supposed to do this myself. Bear. 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 Wow, he's tanky. He's still alive. How is... Oh, no, 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 I'm at the bottom. All right, back up at the top. The bears are gone, sadly. I'm not able to get the bear meat. And does it... Why is there green? That's odd. We're now on a mountain without snow. <laughs> We're actually higher than we've ever... Oh, oh, that's why. We are at the edge of the map. You can't climb this. Well, that changes my outlook on life a bit. Uh, okay. So, now we're just supposed to skirt this going north, and I'm still hoping to find the 8th heroine. That's, that's still in my list of things to do. Because it's, it's the one thing that, like, we know is in this area. I mean, sure, there may be some shrines here and there, but we know the 8th heroine is in here. Well, I, I'm pretty sure... Uh, I, I think. Now I'm going to start doubting myself. I'm pretty sure it's here. We did see its sword last episode, so... It's definitely... It has to be here, right? Man, this area is actually pretty empty, surprisingly. Thankfully, we can, we can ski down this most of the way, or snowboard. And that we have the boots. Man, if we didn't have the boots, this would be a nightmare. Here, excuse me, wolves. I really don't want to fight you. I kind of have a thing against hunting predators, even in real life. What is that? Another rhinoceros? I'll happily kill a rhinoceros. Give me that meat. Gourmet meat. I don't think we've... We might have had that once before, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is something. What is this? Never mind, it's nothing. Just like most of this area. Where are we even supposed to be going? This looks like a Korok seed or something. Yeah, this is a Korok seed. Which means I'll probably cut it out, leave it for the end slate. Or I could also miss every shot, so that, that Korok is going to have to be tackled later. Man, this, this area really is just empty. There's nothing here. I mean, there's... There's this. Oh, wait, wait, whoa. Oh. Oh. Never mind, as soon as I say that, 8th heroin, right here, it's go time. Get out our camera. Yeah, that's that's 8th heroin statue. Let's get on its hands. That's probably the best view we could possibly get. Now, thematically, who is this? Who is this supposed to be? Is this Zelda? That's all I can think of, because if it were... If you have the seven sages... Does this not take me up any further? No, it does not. You have the seventh sages, and then you have the eighth being Zelda. If I'm going by four swords cannon here. Let's eat my food. Currently on its chest, which is kind of rude. Let's fix that. Speaking speaking of chest, there's a there's a Oh what what controls? Uh what just happened? Okay, let's get on here again, and hopefully the controls won't reverse like they did. 
Okay. Well, saying is in Ocarina of Time, that's a, there's a funny thing about that. With a, a certain statue in its chest and a, a certain hookshot target, which should, well, two hookshot targets that should not be where they are. So, we found the 8th heroine statue, surprisingly well hidden, despite being so large. But it also begs the question, why is the sword uphill? Why is the sword at the top of the mountain while the heroine statue is here? Sir, the, the heroine statue could not have fallen. Like, that's not a thing. It's kind of merged in with the side of the mountain. So, I don't, I don't know what happened. Let's see. Where are we going? M Mis Mistathi's Shelf is a place we can go. And is it like everything else here and has nothing on it? Or are we going to get another shrine? Because so far, this is one of the most disappointing areas in the game. We found two shrines here, and that's it. And one Lionel. And I don't e we didn't even find a partridge in a pear tree. There was nothing here. And now there's a rock which we need to grab. And I don't know where. Oh, got it. Stay. Wow, that is like the one of the hardest Korok seeds I have ever seen. Okay, so finally being able to continue this episode that took me like 10 minutes. Uh, Korok seeds really divert. <laughs> Divert the f my flow. We have a shrine down there. We have a couple shrines here. But I believe they're both... Like, outside... Yeah, they're both outside the map, so... I'm still trying to uncover every single shrine here. Fury is ready. Thank you, Urbosa. That was incredibly rude. And I think most of the purpose of this episode... Or, of this area, sadly... Is to point out other areas... Which is really sad. Like, we're able to see almost every shrine in the next area. And there's just nothing really here. I'm kind of at a loss. We're now on the, the foothills. We have a shrine. Our sh shrines are marked on our map. As, like, we're, we're scrying for them. But we're just not seeing them. And it's weird. And I don't know what to do. Except just kind of wander around aimlessly. And there's, there isn't really anything here. It's kind of disappointing. Oh, that, oh my goodness, that actually scared me. Okay, that's something of substance. Wow. Uh, okay then. I thought that was a giant eye. Do they, I'm guessing they want electricity. Wow, that, uh, I shouldn't complain too much because Breath of the Wild kind of seems to hear me and as soon as I complain that there isn't anything of substance, we get something of substance, we get something uh, that has a lot of substance to it. Goodness, okay, entire mountainside painted for a shrine. The Kiha Ki Yug Shrine. Kiha Yug's Blessing, is this a... It's a weird shrine. It almost... Is this the, the one Cass was talking about? Wow, a diamond. How many diamonds do we have? Thirteen. This might be the, the shrine Cass was talking about. I went into it too quickly to see if uh, our quest was completed. Actually, no. This is not the shrine he was talking about, even though it talks about... Uh, actually, it doesn't talk about lightning, does it? Okay, well, I guess we'll do that next. Actually, instead of doing that quest next... Let's instead work back to Gerudo Town and talk to uh, the guy about the 8th heroine because that's a quest we started long ago and I did say that I wanted to complete that. So we'll get to Cass's thing later. His shrine is, is on this bluff or something like that. So let's work back to Gerudo and get the boots and hopefully earn them as our own instead of them being loners. Switch over to our woman clothes, because we're, we're con deceiving this poor man. Oh, thank goodness, you made it back safely. I changed right in front of him, oh my goodness. You were gone for so long, I started to fear the worst. 
I have to come clean. The eighth heroine is just an urban legend. It doesn't actually exist. I, well, I just want an excuse to get close to you, you know? I just wanted to keep you engaged, so I thought I just thought of something impossible to hold your interest. And as a result, I put you in harm's way. I'm a cad, and even so, even and I've been so so worried. I won't put you in danger anymore. From now on, I'll be your protect. Found it. <laughs> Are you trying to console me because this is? I've been so heartsick over this. You're such a kind soul. But no need to coddle me. From now on, I'll look at this. That certainly is the way it was rumored to look. That... That's amazing! I thought it was just an old wives' tale. The eighth heroine actually exists. If the rest of the world knew this, it'd be absolutely bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Yeah, that way it'll just be our little secret, right? Sort of a bonding... thing. And yeah, if it's okay, I'd like to take you this opportunity to ask you... Sand boots, please! Oh, oh, okay. Just a second, I'll take them off. I really want to change back in front of him now that I have the boots. It's just be like, see ya later, alligator. The Gruta Artisans modified these boots for life in the desert. The special souls distribute your body weight evenly so you can maintain normal movement speed on sand. <laughs> Treat them as tenderly as you would me. Ahem. From now on, could you be a lamb and return my snow boots? Otherwise, old Bosai. Oh no! I need those. I need those. <sighs> All right, we're done here, boy. But these make running in the sand pretty difficult. So I'm tired anyway from my jogging regimen. I think I'll just park myself under the tent in front of Gerudo Town. And take five. Care to join me later? Bye. Oh. Huh? Aw. Oh. Good. Goodbye. I need those. <laughs> It's sand, you can be barefoot. I actually need those. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, you came. I mean, hey, of course. I figured you'd stop swing by. Yep, the, do the old swing by. We didn't get a chance to spend much time together earlier, did we? Whoosh, total whirlwind. So, wanna hang out? I want your snow boots. Now. You want my snow boots too? Ha, huh, well, aren't we greedy? Or should I say insatiable for boots? A boot thirst that cannot be slate. Adorable, but listen. If I give you these, then I'll have nothing for my feet. Mm. Oh man, what should I do? Think Psy. I can't put her in a bad mood. Okay, do not blow this. Just relax and work a little verbal magic. Mm. How could I resist a request from you? No lie, you, gave, you really gave me a surprise earlier, and I love surprises. Surprise me again. Like... That... I'll give you these snow boots as a, pl a surprise present. So let me ask you this. Did you notice that the statue of the 8th heroine isn't actually holding a sword? Pretty weird, huh, right? Seven other heroines all have their swords, which is weird. Uh, it leads me to deduce that the 7th heroine must have had a sword as well. Mm. Must have. To see such a sword actually exists, that my deduction is right. There could be no greater surprise. I'll look for it. What? You're really going? Well, all right then. The sword must be pretty big, so I doubt it would have been carried off too far. I bet it's somewhere in Gerudo and stuff. And the thing is, I can't lend you the snow boots this time. Just can't do it. I'm really sorry. No way a normal person can make it through the Gerudo Highlands without good snow boots. Should probably give up halfway back and come crawling back. Fine, you win. So hot, strong. I love it. I'll just be waiting here, okay? If you ever need me, come and stuff. And you know what? The worst part is, I thought about taking a picture of that sword. But I thought, nah, I don't need that. I don't need it at all. <sighs> Unless maybe I took a picture. That's possible. Oh, well. You know what? I want to do this this episode. So through the editing power of magic, I will return with the picture without having to burden you at all with actually showing me taking the picture. A traveler swore he saw you in the Gerudo Highlands, so I've been gnawing on my fingernails with worry. I mean, with all that talk about the sword, it was just chit-chat. I didn't think you'd go up there without snow boots. Anyway, are you okay? Uh, feast your eyes as if you weren't already. Right there. Sword. What? It really exists? And you went searching for it without the, a decent pair of snow boots? I mean, the Gerudo Highlands are unforgiving, so I, about, I doubt I could survive up there, and I'm burly. So who are you? The snow boots, please. Oh. Yeah, you really did risk your life to fulfill your promise after all. It'd be pretty uncouth of me to drop my end of the bargain. 
Just a second, I'll take them off. Snow boots! Boots designed for hiking up snowy mountains. They evenly distribute your body weight so you can maintain normal movement speed even on deep snow. Well, now I'm barefoot. If you're happy, then I'm happy. And what's more, this whole episode has endured you even more to me. Your, acute, your acutely greedy side. Your sassy, playfully rude side. Your unexpectedly tough side. Um, would you go out with... Not a chance. Oh. Irk. I kind of knew you'd say that, but would it have killed you to let me finish the question? Ha <laughs> ha! Wait. At what? the very least, let me gaze after you until you disappear from my vision. Ah. Man, this person's creepy. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And next time, we're going to be taking Cass up. Where on earth am I, is my thing? We're going to be taking Cass up on his... There they are. Sand boots. Aw, oh, yeah. It's a little bit late for these, but... I have sand boots. Taking Cass up on his quest to uncover the hidden shrine on one of the outcroppings of rock over there. And then, what else? I'm going to scope out the Grudo Highlands once more. And if there's nothing there, which I really don't think there is, I think we've combed this as much as possible. Four shrines in one small strip of map seems like the, the limit to me. And so... Now that we've we've done that, uh, we're going to be exploring a new area once again, which is crazy, but I think that's what we're doing. We're all, we've already fully explored an entire region of the map, meaning we have three areas left before we are done with the game. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and join me next time for another episode of Pal Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, but there's a blood moon. Oh, I was worried about that, but a blood moon means that the moose will respawn. <gasps> the moose are going to come back. Okay, I need to get into myself into an advantageous position. Probably not in the air, because I think they'd, they'd hear me coming. I'll crouch down and wait for the blood moon. And then the moose will spawn. And what on earth? Uh... <laughs>